Welcome. My name is Merle Whitney. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at configuring a cluster role. We're going to right click on roles and click on configure role. In the before you begin screen, this screen tells you that you are going to be configuring high availability for the role. After you successfully complete this wizard, if a clustered server fails while running the role, another clustered server automatically begins running the role, a process known as failover. If the role itself fails, it can be automatically restarted, either on the same server or on another server in the cluster depending on options that you specify. Click Next to go to the next screen. And in this screen, we want to select a role. Now for this session, we're going to be clicking on a role from our server. In another scenario, you might want to click on other server, select another server, and click on the role for that server. Here we're going to click on File Server. Then we're going to click on Next. You have a choice here for File Server Type between File Server for General Use and Scale Out File Server for Application Data. For your exam, you're going to have to be able to tell the difference between the two server types. So make sure you understand the difference between the two. For the first file server type, file server for general use, you want to use this option to provide a central location on your network for users to share files or for server applications that open and close frequently. This option supports both the server message block and network file system protocols. It also supports data deduplication, file server resource manager, DFS replication, and other file services role. The next type of file server is the scale out file server for application data. You want to use this option to provide storage for server applications or virtual machines that leave files open for extended periods of time. Scale out file server client connections are distributed across nodes in the cluster for better throughput. This option supports the SMB protocol server message block. It does not support NFS protocol, data deduplication, DFS replication, or file server resource manager. Pay careful attention to this scale out file server. You will surely get this on your exam. Click next to go to the next screen. And here you are asked to type a name that clients will use when accessing this cluster role. So we're going to call the role file server. And we want to type in an address. So click here to type in address. And we're going to say 211. So that's 192.168.254.211. Two five four two eleven and click next to go to the next screen. And it says here the file name, file service are not a valid DNS name. So let's just go take out the space between file and server and click next again. Validating settings, please wait. Now you come to a screen that says, select only the storage volumes that you want to assign to this cluster role. 
you can assign additional storage to this cluster mode after you complete the wizard. So we have no suitable disk yet in storage. And in order to create the storage disk, we need to actually go to storage, right click on storage, and create the necessary storage before we actually do the roll. As you can see on this screen, after the storage has completed, you're going to go to the configuration screen, to the confirmation screen, and then you'll be able to configure high availability using that storage space. This is the end of this tutorial.